Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here with Fastlane Car and you must be watching TFL Now because that's the only place where you can see Ask Nathan. This is the show on TFL Now that answers your questions from a week ago or in this case two weeks ago because last week we didn't have an Ask Nathan episode. I apologize for that. I was actually in Phoenix, Arizona at the Concourse in the Hills. Okay, so let's get right to it. Now, the first question is kind of bizarre only because considering all the questions you guys have been asking, this is the first time someone's asked me this, which is, what do you think of three-wheeled cars and have you driven one? I'm 12 and from Detroit and I like your shows. Tim. Tim, you're awesome. Thank you, 12 years old, awesome. Uh, yes, I actually have driven three-wheeled cars before. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. As day-to-day -day transportation, they kind of suck. The bottom line is that if you look at a three-wheel vehicle and it's going down the street, you're gonna notice that there's one wheel here, one wheel here, and one wheel in the middle. That means that if there's a pothole in that street, there's a really good chance you're gonna hit it. Frankly speaking, they don't ride great. They don't handle that well, they're okay. And all in all, I don't think they're very practical either. So I have driven a few, including the T-Rex, which <laughs> I did not fit in very well. Do you think Chevrolet will bring back Quadrasteer in the Silverado? And this is from Nick Jennings. That's a great question. I actually asked about two years ago, roughly, uh, a GN engineer if they would be willing to do that. And he kind of looked at me weird and was like, well, it didn't really work out the first time. They weren't able to sell enough to really make a business case out of doing it again. So unless there's a really big demand, I don't think they're going to be doing it. Thanks for the question. Let's see, um, <laughs> Z, uh, ZL1 Camaro said, you said 2016 instead of 2017 when I was doing my introduction from the Chicago Auto Show. You got me. I Sorry. Uh, every once in a while, we're kind of rushed to do things. Roman and I, and occasionally Andre, we do slip, especially if we're doing just one take. So, sorry about that. From Steve Quer, Q-U-E-R-E, do you think the Toyota RAV4 Adventure Package will be the RAV4's top of the line model? Now, that question goes along with another one. Do you think that the RAV4 will be redesigned next year because of its recent upgrades? So let's put both of those together. First of all, no, it's not the very top of the line. They do have a limited that you can get with a lot more stuff in it. This package, the adventure package, kind of comes standard with a few things that you simply can't get in other RAV4s. When we get our hands on one, <laughs> I am gonna be testing it. Anyway, so in terms of the redesign next year, I don't think it's gonna happen. I think they're gonna push it off for another year or possibly two before they redesign it. It was recently redesigned just a few years back. So Steve McCullum, 2011, I hate the live streams, not only on this channel, but on all YouTube channels. I'm not disrespecting anybody who live streams, I just hate them. Yes, and some other people do too, but a vast majority of people like getting information as quickly as possible. And that's exactly the reason why we're doing it. Not only that, but we work so much. We do so many videos that we seriously can't put them all into one package. So you can go get behind the scenes with live streaming. You guys can get tech updates with live streaming. You could get a lot of stuff with live streaming. So the bottom line is we're going to keep doing them, uh, which is really great because like if Roman fumbles because he's using the walker and he can't really do that and the camera at the same time. So uh, it may actually happen live on TV. Okay, Nathan. <laughs> He's going to, have to kill me for that one. Uh, Nathan, what do you feel is better, the full-size half-ton for towing or a, uh, for a small travel trailer? I don't really want a three-quarter ton, and my 05 Tundra is just getting too old. And this is from Earl Edwards. Um, a lot of the half-tons right now are able to tow amazing amounts of weight. I highly recommend, highly recommend, looking at vehicles from Ram, that have like the three liter eco diesel, if that ever comes back out, uh, the EcoBoost based truck from Ford, and the 6.2 liter V8 from Chevrolet. All three of those tow like you wouldn't believe. Uh, Nathan, can you look at the next auto show? Oh, when you're at the next auto show, can you look at the uh, Alfa Romeo Giulia? Absolutely. And this is from uh, Mad Dog 8148. You'd think with a guy's name of Roman, how Italian that sounds, they'd put him in the car right away. I, I think it's a beautiful car. I think it sounds amazing. I've been reading up on its performance. Haven't touched it yet. Hopefully, in the very near future, we will be driving one. That's the hope. 
Final question comes from Piet VM, and that is, hi guys, are you going to the Geneva Auto Show March 9th in Europe? I don't think so. Um, as far as I know, this year we're not going to be going. We seem to go to Geneva every other year. I've been to uh, two shows in China, uh, both the Beijing and the Shanghai shows, which were amazing. And maybe I'll go back out there one of these days and do it again. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys, thank you so much for all of your emails, your tweets, and, of course, all of your comments. Add your comments down below, and we will have a longer Ask Nathan next week, I promise. For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. I'll see you next time.